What are you doing New Year's Eve? Well, before you head out to the parties, you may be one of the many football fans tuning into the 48th Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. This year, American Athletic Conference champion and 14th-ranked University of Houston Cougars face off against the 9th-ranked Florida State Seminoles at the Georgia Dome. The game kicks off 12 p.m. Eastern and is nationally broadcast on ESPN. Here with a look at the business of college bowls is Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl CEO Gary Stoken. Welcome, Gary. Great to have you on. Thanks for having us, Tanya. Such a highly watched game. How did these teams get selected? Well, the College Football Playoff Selection Committee is made up of 12 people that are renowned in college football, along with Condoleezza Rice. Oh, I exciting. Add. And they, they will make a decision based on the rankings of the teams, how they perform during the season, what their strength of schedule is, and then they slot them in what they call the New Year's Six Bowl Games which is comprised of two semifinal games and then four other games, the cotton, the rose, the sugar, the orange, and the peach, and Fiesta Bowl. Love that. And, of course, the Peach Bowl takes place in Atlanta. What does all of this mean for the city in terms of revenue? Well, it's very big economic impact. I mean, at the end of the day, $2 million each year is deposited in the city and the state from all the people coming into town, spending money in restaurants, in stores, in hotels, et cetera. So it's, a, it's probably about $40 million economic impact each year. That's so great. And even some diehard football fans might not know that there's a charitable element to all this. Can you tell us about that? No, I appreciate that. We're the most charitable bowl game in the country since 2002. We've given $17.9 million back to our community. And payout-wise to the schools, to the universities, uh, this is $150 million since 1968 that we've given back to universities in payout. So wow. it's a big money maker for the city, mm -hmm. but also important for the schools and then also for charities in our community. Absolutely. And, and what does it mean for the schools aside from the money raised? I mean, it's, it's so prestigious as well, correct? It really is. I mean, TV-wise, you're getting great exposure. And as, as a lot of people in college uh, athletics say, Sports, done the right way, can be the best marketing tool for a university. They see their applications rise, and they see donors give more money with a successful athletic program. Isn't that, isn't that great? So exciting. Now, you know, there's been a national conversation, I'm sure you've been aware, about the safety of football. Sure. What are the college bowls doing to ensure the safety of these players? Well, there's been some new rules put in now. The targeting rule is the first one to think about. And so not only are people, coaches teaching kids not to lead with their head, but also if you do lead with your head, you will be ejected from the game and not be able to play the next game the first half. So they're, there's, they're working on both sides of it. And at the younger ages, they're teaching it uh, a new way of tackling as well. So uh, it's, it's become more in the lead of uh, cognizant uh, from everybody, right. from the administration down to the coaches, and it's being implemented daily. It's something that more people are aware of for sure. That's well, for sure. Thank you so much, Gary Stoken, and good luck. And Thanks for having fun. us. Fun, the Peach Bowl, very exciting. Thanks for being with us. Thanks, Tanya.